Buda. Ushesikia mtu akisema kitambo nilikuwa ninavuta sigara lakini siku hizi nimeokoka ninavuta bangi. Buda shejuliza kama hiyo wokovu uko nayo ni ile wokovu ya ukweli. Hii kama neno ndio tunachangamkia. Kama ke hii ni Super Sunday mtiango mali tunachambua vitu mbili tatu za Biblos. Tuko karibu sana madhejo kumalizia hii series tumekuwa tukiangalia mambo ya deliverance mtiango. Session tatu peke yake zimebaki na mazee maneno tunakafunga. Leo mazee tunataka kuangalia story ya salvation. Next week Mungu akitujalia mtiangu tutaangalia story ya water baptism. Alafu tukafunge kuangalia story ya kukua Holy Spirit filled. Una story ya mazee jo wokovu kuna vitu mazee waga nasikia zinanieka mali na feel mazee kuna kachanga moto kidogo. Kuna story mazee best yangu alinipatia kinembe mazee jo mzee wake jo anamwambia kuna time fulani kitambo back in the day ameka mahali alikuwa anachunga mazee mbuzi 1 2 akajekelea kichwa mahali kwa mawe akiwa katikati ya mazee kuju ku relax Yesu akatoklezea Yesu akamshobuda I will always walk with you Amzae akajua mazee Joshua kwa ashangu kia mazee wa kovu yake So anything else alikuwa na doom tiangu akipiga tei anakuambia wachana na mimi Yesu alikaa makanisho he will always walk with me. Buda. Kuna watu wengi wamesema wameokoka. Na tumetafuta sana kuona transformation kwa life yao kuweza ku reflect hiyo wokovu wanaongea about na imekuwa trick. In fact, kuna watu probably tumeona life yake before okoke ilikuwa better than after meokoka. In fact kuna watu wanasema yeye yeah, akikam church akiwa sina alikuwa mtu mzuri sana. Aka hang out na watu fulani na wika wameokoka. Life yake kaenda kukuwa iko na dhambi zaidi than venye alikuwa kikamapo. So swali mzee inabaki ni hii. Iko kwa tuna discuss ama tunaongea about. Ni nini exactly? Ndiyo mimi na wewe tuweze kujua kama tuko na the right salvation ama tunajienjoy. Pastor Steve kama K anajaribu mzee kufanya to understand. It salvation ni inafaa tukue nayo ni aina gani? Check hiyo kama neno. I'll tell you something We are back discussing the book 15 questions about your deliverance and this time we want to talk about salvation. First thing that's most important is I need to give you my own testimony. I was born again on the 23rd of August 1988 Tuesday evening around 7:15 p.m. My salvation was witnessed by my cousin first cousin who was seated next to me and many others who heard her scream with joy as she hugged me because i had just given my life to christ just like she had done six months ago it was an absolutely amazing experience at the age of 20 and it was something that transformed my life 100% i became such a different person god immediately helped me to turn away from fornication turn away from smoking turn away from drinking alcohol of different kinds high level whiskies and low level boozas i want to thank god so much because 30 years later those things never affected my life again in such a deep 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 way god transformed me and made me a new creature second corinthians 5:17 is very clear it says that once you have found christ All things have passed away behold all things have become new however certain things began to grow creep up in my life which i had to deal with progressively progressively and so just like i explained in the beginning 
There are two things that happen when you get saved. One is a spiritual reality called positional sanctification. And that sanctification huh, ensures you are seated with Christ at the right hand side of the Father, according to Ephesians chapter 2, from verse 6 to 8 thereabouts. But secondly, our soul life, our flesh life, needs to begin to cooperate with happen, what happened to our spirit life. That process has been marked by two main things after salvation, and that is water baptism and being filled with the Holy Spirit as witnesses to the work of redemption done to you. Thereafter, there must be hard work of crucifying the flesh daily, daily, daily. And that's why Paul said, I die daily. And so this particular investigation that we will do according to chapter 13, which is how did you get saved, will help us understand, are we really even born again? Do we really understand what happened to us? And why is it important? It's because the salvation that we have today in many people's lives is causing questions by the world. We still do the same things we used to do, but yet confess that we are born again. Still watch the same things. Still entertain the same kind of friendships. Still dress the way we dressed. Make up the way we make up. <laughs> and try to be sensual the way we were sensual before. There's no tangible difference. You see, when you talk of something being from darkness to light, that is pretty prominent change. From death to life, that is screaming change. From being blind to one that can see, that is absolutely 100% change that everyone can tell. How come ours is not reflecting that kind of change? Sad stories like one young man told me, he was not a born again Christian. He was just these people who are nice. You know these nice people? Not smoking, not drinking, not sleeping around, not involved in anything like stealing or anything like that, not watching pornography. But one day he felt he can't be saved by his own righteousness. Someone shared the gospel with him, introduced him to a church, but immediately he joined the church. The first leave us bash that he was invited to, he went and found everything he wasn't doing before is being done by the born again Christians. And he thought to himself, oh my goodness, I was better the way I was before and quit Christianity because Christians had messed up his understanding of what born again Christianity is. Shame on us, the church, for allowing such wickedness within the sanctuary and within its confines and the lifestyle of believers until the world is not attracted anymore to Christianity. Paul said it in Romans chapter 10 from verse nine and 10. If you believe Jesus Christ is the son of God in your heart, and confess that God raised him from the dead on the third day, you shall be saved. There is such a word as saved in the Bible several times. Born again in the Bible several times. Born of the seed of God several times. Did that happen to you? We must interrogate that. And if you didn't do it properly, guess what? The class will help you to make it right with God. Apply the blood, apply the water, apply the spirit. Three things will seal the matter before God on the issue of your redemption. We will interrogate who led you to Christ or how did you get saved? Can you remember the day? Can you remember the month? Can you remember the year? Because if I ask you right now, what's your birthday? You won't start wondering, uh, was it 1952 or 49? Oh my goodness, I'm not so sure. Okay, okay, oh my God, what do we do? You, you, most times we know, we know our birthday. We know our birthday. Guess what? You have a spiritual birthday. 
That's what we want to talk about, man. Oh, it's going to be exciting. Do you know what? Mr. Ustakeona told me this was his most favorite topic <laughs> in the class. Ha! Come closer. Let's talk about this matter. Sandy Sana. For the avoidance of doubt, Nimeokok. At Freddy Budabos. Come, okay? <laughs> uh...